Hey guys, welcome back to Healthy Kitchen. How are you? Okay, so today we'll be making some skewered chicken with a little bit of chickpea salad, some Cajun beans and red rice. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I use my newest um, jerk spice that I made. It's fantastic. Um, so please give it a shot. Let me know. Okay, so first we're going to start off and julienne up some carrots here. Basically, just peel the carrots, turn them to the side, and just give them a nice dice like that. We're just going to put them off to the side, and then we're going to move on to our cucumbers. Okay, our cucumbers, English cucumbers, they take not very long to slice. What I like to do is just run along the side of the cucumber here, and then just cut long strips going straight from the top to the bottom and then once again turn that sideways like we did our carrots and just dice it all up okay make sure more or less the cuts are even because they'll be going in here with the chickpeas a little bit of lemon juice the carrots and some Greek yogurt basically what I want to do is just toss everything into the bowl it doesn't matter what order you throw it in just pour it all in there, put the Greek yogurt on top. We're going to give it a little fresh squeeze of lemon juice, a little bit of cracked black pepper, kosher salt, and just a little pinch of cumin there. And just give that all a toss up. And we're just going to check it here. It's great. And then we just put that in the fridge. Then we move on to our mushrooms, okay? Basically, we have some portobellos, some oyster. Start dividing them up, breaking up the oyster mushrooms, and remove the gills of your portobello mushrooms, okay? You don't have to. I don't really know what the big deal is, to be honest. Um, culinary aesthetics is what I would like to call it. It will discolor certain things if you're cooking it, because they, they get black, like really black when you're cooking it. You don't have to remove it, but removing it is best. All right, just give that a quick chop up. Throw those nice thyme leaves on top. The stems were very tender, so I didn't even bother chopping it up. Put a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of EVO, extra virgin olive oil. And what I like to drizzle here is just a little bit of my balsamic syrup right on top of the mushrooms. Look at that quick close-up shot there. Okay, guys, for the meat that we're using, it is a chicken breast, double breast with the breastplate in so bone in yes bone in i love the flavor of the bone on the chicken breast i don't like boneless meat i find that it's really dry so i like to cook my meat with the bone on so i just chop it up like this cut chunks out of it and move on to seasoning it so a little bit of kosher salt crap black pepper once again a little bit of parsley evo <laughs> this shot here reminds me of winter, and it's coming very soon, and yeah, enough of that snow. Okay, a little bit of kosher salt like I was saying, and what we're going to do here is just chop up some garlic, put it right on top, and I have some homemade jerk paste here, like what I was saying to you guys. Just go ahead and just smear that all on there, marinate everything, make sure everything is evenly coated. Okay, and toss it all up. Once again, like I said, make sure everything's evenly coated and just begin skewering. I could use my hands, but I'm just trying to be fancy. <laughs> okay, uh, it would not be the same unless I put a little bit of scotch bonnet in there. Go easy on it. I didn't, and I enjoyed it, but my wife didn't. Okay, and what I did here was just sprinkle a little bit of dark mushroom soy just to give it a little bit of extra color while it's cooking. A few close-ups here, then I just banged it right in the oven and forgot about it as I was chopping up my mise en place for my rice. Okay, so what I have here is some mint, celery dice, garlic sliced, and one half shallot. I just began to basically saute that all off with a little bit of coconut oil. I seasoned it really heavy uh, with the kosher salt, crab black pepper. I threw in one scotch bonnet pepper there and a little bit of dried parsley. 
Now, with the Cajun spice, don't be shy. This is what's giving it that red color, that nice flavor, and I just basically toasted off all the spices. Guys, whenever you're using spices, you need to toast them off, whether it's curry, Cajun spice, paprika, you need to make sure you toast the spice when you're cooking with it. I threw my rice in there and gave that a quick toast before I added in my beans and the tomatoes. So some crushed tomatoes there and some red kidney beans. I also put a little bit more parsley. You gotta cook in stages. As I always say, cook in stages, add flavor. And then I deglaze with a little bit of coconut oil, or sorry, coconut milk, and added in some water. I would turn the heat to about medium before I put it on low, and then I covered it and let it go. All right, here we have our chicken. It came out of the oven looking super beautiful. The mushrooms were, wow. They just soaked up all that chicken flavor. They caramelized on the bottom. It was like, look at it, it looks like meat. It was, it was crazy, okay? I put my uh, chicken right on top. Excellent. Guys, this recipe is a must try for you. If you haven't tried any of my recipes, please give this one a shot. A little bit of chickpeas on the bottom there. Rice, once again, Healthy Kitchen. Thank you for tuning in. It's always a pleasure. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, <laughs> leave a comment. It really, really, really helps with people seeing this video and for future projects. Before I leave, I totally forgot that I didn't put the pepper on there. I'm just going to add that pepper. Okay, guys. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.